Kyoto, Achara, Japan, Kurozura, Suzuki, Tupalele, Matalua, Matsushita, Suzuki, and Sumatsu. And they're coached by Wataharu Murata. I enjoyed it by Gareth Reese. Gareth, should be a pretty good even matchup this one. As we start the second session here on the afternoon of the second day, it seems a long time ago that Uruguay upset Kenya. But uh, this will be a good matchup. Japanese very quick, and the Uruguayan attack very organized, very similar to the uh, Argentinian style. And both of these teams will be heading to Dubai in, in just three weeks' time as Japan take it away. That's Suyamatsu. Oh. A little in out, and he's got the first try of the game. Right off the kickoff. We'll get back to the World Cup in a minute, uh, Gareth, but Japan hitting straight off the mark. Well, first touch of the ball, literally, and uh, Giver now has been so good in attack. Simple attack out wide, number eight's got him, and just doesn't match his pace. Lunges, and can't hold on, and a man with his pace, Suyamatsu. Conversion on the way. Unsuccessful. We'll take one more look at this try from Yuki Suimatsu. Little give and go on the outside. Does well. Beats his man. Get it out. First try to Japan. First blood in this semi final to Japan. Well, whether it's 15s or 7s, the Japanese are very, very committed. You know, they'll never stop working. And uh, they'll play off each other. Nice and high. Release! Short. Come back for the free kick to Uruguay from the center of the field. Uruguay pretty structured. This is Manuel Martinez gets us underway. Bring it wide, switch it back inside. That's Rick, release White! Matthias Brown, one of the experienced players in this game. Straight onto the ground, though. Player going down. Penalty to Japan. Referee uh, Marcello Pilara, the Argentinian, communicating to the players what he wanted, and the Uruguayans off their feet. Gives Japan a chance to kick it long. This one has actually gone straight into the in goal there, not into touch. So what you choose? For a scrum. scrum 22. Scrum. Yeah, Uruguay will choose a scrum way upfield. Where the kick was uh, taken from? Yes. That's a bad mistake there from the Japanese. They're in a great position to go on the attack again. Thanks. Extend their lead, but now they're going to come back. Uh, uh, Uruguay Here's will have the to scrum in. Remember, well, props to Hooker. To Uruguay props, after a bound the opposite prop. Hooker, and then, uh, bound the opposite prop. Touch, touch, pause, engage. Steady, steady. With the ball red. Good scrum win there to Uruguay. And then move it across. Nice chip kick through there by Echeverria. Good chase there. Japan back there. That's Echeverria there right at the rock. Good defense. Brown comes in to help out. But Japan control. That's Suzuki. Goes back inside. There's a try score, Sumatsu. He's held on to that ball in the ruck. You can see the referee indicating advantage to Uruguay. They've got the ball. He'll let him go. Aracena digs it out of that ruck. Patient build up here by Uruguay. A little bit of a loose pass there. Go back inside. That's Aracena once again. Braun. Echeverria. Whoa. Nice work there. A little chip kick through. Going to be a race here. Some soccer skills on display. That's going to be a penalty try for holding back. He was going to get there anyways, but the referee has made this a very simple conversion. Penalty try to Uruguay. 5 all yeah. with the kick to count. Good soccer skills from Echeverria. The Basque influence there. And he touches it again. Rather than pick it up, he nudges it forward. And you see the defender coming in, Shumatsu. He's not allowed to play him without the Seven. ball, and the referee deemed it was a Seven. penalty try because he would have caught. Now he's going to have a little chat with the uh, Japanese player, and is at risk. He could go to the sin bin here for uh, Please. intentional. If you want to take, make a tackle, not early, not late, with the ball. So I'm in motion with you, okay? Thank you. I think he got the idea. 
Time on. Referee Pilara, very clear there. And you're quite right, he was lucky not to get a yellow card. Well, we saw in the previous game, uh, the Fijian player wasn't identified. Similar punishment, it's a penalty try. It wasn't identified and therefore couldn't be sent to the Sindhu. Matthias Arasina with the conversion. Uruguay take the 7.5 lead over Japan. They've only played three times, these two sides. The last time was way back in Brisbane in 2000. And Uruguay got up over Japan 14 points to 12. So it's it's been a while between drinks for these two teams. Yes, neither of these teams regulars on the World Series of Sevens. But uh, always solid performance as we've seen in this tournament. Things not going Japan's way, although they've been able to score tries and they've threatened. And then Uruguay, of course, really haven't done much. Not through, thank big, you. Big result. And uh, it, was, it was quite impressive. Oh. Kenya, who were one of the huge teams in this I need tournament. Hugely here. exciting to watch and uh, little Uruguay. Line. Good defense and took their yes, opportunity the and they, they knocked them over in day one. Two and two. And that was a great win by Uruguay. This is Matthias Brown in the lineup. Brings it down. Good ball. Nice show of the ball. Need to control this breakdown. Uh -huh. That's a loose pass in, into uh, the big man for Japan, Tupule. Now it's inside. Kawazura. There's Tupule. Just pushing off, shrugging people. And he's going to get the try. The big man from the Honda Club in Japan, Alise Tupule. <laughs> well, not for the first time. He's caught an interception. And now for the first time, he's handed off the defenders. Willing to look at that. There's one. Get away. Bit of a push. Second man comes in. Another push. Good work. And the nimble feet as well to stay on the field. And despite the attentions, gets it down. Yeah, and there's a celebration. I don't think he's calling for a timeout. I just think he likes that. Maybe a shout out to uh, Tonga. Try time. <laughs> or maybe he does want a break. <laughs> yeah. Now Martinez and uh, Braun were both on the receiving end of uh, some big palm offs there from uh, Tupiale. There's coach Murata from Japan. Great fly half, played against him several times, just retired recently in 15's code, but a, a great uh, mind and he's done well. I think he's got a lot out of these Japanese players. Yeah, they don't get together often, so, you know, nice kickoff retained by Japan. Beautiful kick. They go across Suzuki. There's the try score. Sumatsu pops it inside. Oh, just back yourself, Sad. No advantage. Well, Matsushita was holding the ball in one hand. That'll be half time, but uh, Japan threatening at the depth. They're only up by three. Here it is, the ball's in one hand. He's trying to offload. Then he thinks about having a go. And it's not loose by the Uruguayan defender. All right, we'll go to the break right now. This match, Japan has the lead, 10 points to seven. Good contest so far. It is Shield semi-final. There's always something to play for. Even though know these four teams lost their first game on day two, they're here and uh, they're going for hardware. The Shield. Absolutely. The winner stays around for the Shield. The loser is done for the weekend. And it's been a great weekend, lots of color around the place. The stadium's still buzzing, of course. USA have won their victory, but it's been a real blending mix of cultures here. Here's the Mexican presence. They'll be up next against Canada in the other Shield semifinal. And let's take a look at some highlights. It was Uruguay that was on board first. Using the kicking technique, nudging it ahead. And uh, although he would have scored a cherry, he goes under the post. But good response after an interception by Tupole. He gets the ball back again. Off the short side and pure physical violence here. Handing off, accepting the challenges, and fending them off and touching down. So that to go with the first minute try by Japan. And he's there in the lead. <laughs> And the Sevens Rugby World Cup is coming up in three weeks' time in Dubai. Both of these teams will be appearing there. 
And, you know, it's going to be a tough weekend in, in Dubai for both of these sides, but they've earned the right to go there. The qualifying has been very extensive throughout the world. And I think that's a good pointer for the Olympics coming, looking ahead. October is the decision for the Olympic Games. No and uh, we got teams like Japan, Uruguay. On the women's side, we've got teams from Russia, Thailand. It's going to be a marvelous event in Dubai. Yeah, 88 countries uh, signed up to qualify for that, and we have the top 24 going. The top 16 women's teams for the first time will be in Dubai, so uh, sevens is definitely on the map. And we get wide. Echeverria. Lays oh, it back there pass. for Gibbonow. Gibbonow gives it to Arosina, who will run it around under the posts. Immediate response, great work. Echeverry up the left-hand side. But I think you're going to see the one-handed offload here. Good communication from Arosina. Play. Take a look at this. Echeverry gets in behind the defense, doesn't die with it, stays on the field. And good work, good support. Yeah, the one-handed off. A hint of maybe forward there, but the referee was in great position right beside it, saying the pass wasn't forward and allowed the try for Aristina. Let's see if it maybe went forward. Supporting player comes in, hands in the ruck, picks it up, doesn't get tied up. Yeah, we'll give him that. That's good positive play. Good support play there from Uruguay. And the conversion is good. Extending Uruguay's lead now 14 points to 10 over Japan. Well, Japan in all sorts of bother again, and Uruguay will have an attacking line out. Not quick. Not quick. The referee says no quick line out. The line out's formed, so they'll have to use a little structure here. Uruguay with the throw. Number three, Caracito is on now. He's replaced Matias Braun. He brings it down, oh, takes it towards the try line. Martinez. Out wide. Echeverria just pops it up there to the sport player coming around. This is Gibbonow, finds the gap. Santiago Gibbonow will score. And Uruguay, after the break, has come back with two quick tries. They extend their lead 19 points to 10 over Japan with the kick to come. Well, whether it's 7th or 15th, if you can beat your defender without the ball, you're away and running. And Gibbonow, after the debacle in the middle, will take a flat pass, and you watch a step inside his defender. He's already beaten. Good pacey pass, and he uh, attacks it on the angle. The Japanese defender had overrun it. Good uh, basic. Time Gibbonow. off. Good fat work. Sorry. Santiago. Yes. Time off. And another conversion kick there from Matias Arsina. 21 points to 10. Uruguay Thanks. over Japan. Looks like Uruguay are going to book themselves a shield final position oh, what up, what up. today. No. This will well, represent the end of the road for Japan. It will, and great to have them here. To the ball! In Southern California, there's a huge uh, Japanese-American population down here, and they've been uh, a huge uh, part of the tournament. Very positive, everything they've done, and there's been nice support here for them in Southern California. Now, it's been a very valuable hit out, too, for the Japanese with the World Cup looming. Uruguay, they're going to go on our next semi-final for this year. Canada? Yes. Mexico. Versus Mexico. Two red. It's all Stop. North American affair. Two red. And Canada not being in the best Two. form. And Mexico looking Two to get red. their first try at the tournament. There's uh, Coach Ashard. He'll be happy. Much better second half Time. performance from his Uruguayan team here. Come on. Manuel Marte. Martinez. Run away, Red! Ruck! Pretty simple stuff. And he'll spread it out. He'll show her the ball there. Japanese defense Gage. is solid, though, Arasuna. Knock on! With the knock on and the tackle, so Japan defending well on the, no, near fine. their try line. After they'll the get the board. scrum feet. Well, this one's not over. Still uh, two scores would win it for Japan. 11 point Booker. deficit at the moment. They're going, to, they're going to need to see Dutch, a little more consistent Spingage, possession of, uh, Gareth to really get a chance in this game. Yeah, and once again, they bobbled it off the scrum a little. They have yes, brought it to Suma, too, I think. He's looking for the outside. It's a big ask. That's yeah. a very uh, cross in defense. <laughs> Trying to use those South American soccer skills, the Uruguayans. Keep it alive. The ball was in the touch. Yeah, a little bit naive there from Suma no, to no, no. take in the outside. And 
good that he backed himself. He's got to keep that play alive. Time off. Seven. Substitutes coming into the game. See not to himself. Oh, I saw out. you. I saw you. You're, you're my... So Suamatsu's so day is done. He takes it. Time on. Stroll over out. to the bench. Replacement player Santiago Caracido comes down with Boy! the line out. Para driving the ball along. Six, six, we six. have a ball, but we're going to have to use it quickly, and they do. Ball comes out. Echeverria in the centers. Very effective out there. Give it now. Big man on the wing. Yeah, he's been very direct all day. He's been a part of everything, given out. And it swung back across. That was it Chaveria running the show in the middle? The nine Advance, player, Blanti. Advantage penalty. You've got an advantage being played. Still advantage. Penalty, Frank, no hands. <laughs> Release red. <laughs> hey, signal high tackle. I didn't Number three. Captain. Be on. Uh, Captain, please. Well, we heard the double whistle. <laughs> that usually yeah. means the pocket. Captain. Remember that down. motion? I say, players with the ball, no high, no late. High tackle to that player. Yellow card. Yeah, the try saw Elisi. Tupilali. Yes. Until Here's a mark. I didn't see it. Maybe there was a swing yes. on that caught the ear going on the number. chin. Looked like Give it was in, in the tackle situation where it looked like it took place, it's done. but it's good. his afternoon is done because no, we're no, down no, no, no. to uh, a little, little less than two minutes to go here, so he may get on the paddock again, but it looks like he probably his day is done as well. Of course, he could come back on if Uruguay scored the try here very quickly. I don't think it works that way, does it? Are we ice hockey here? Time on. It would be nice if it did, wouldn't it? Oh, they work the short side. Good stuff. Good simple try there. Number three, replacement player, Santiago Caracido, but very effective in the lineouts. He gets the try. Uruguay running away with this one. They extend their lead over Japan. Well, little Juan Martin Love, he made the penalty. Here's the tackle coming. Let's see, the swinging arm. Wow. That, uh, I don't think that's a dangerous tackle as it would have to be deemed. And this was nice. Little tap from Love. Looks at the short side, draws two defenders, pops it up, and a good line of run from Caracedo. No conversion there, so the score remains 26 points to 10, Uruguay over Japan. We're winding down to the final minute of this contest, the Shield semi final. And the ball was tried to. Gates! Knock it release down. White! From the side, three wide. Wow. Oh. No gate, three, no gate. Well, the gate he's referring to is the tackle area of the tackler and the tackle E, so he's coming from the side. Got to come straight through, not from the side. Japan, they spin wide. Nice ball movement there. May run out of space, and he has. Well, that was the, the Japanese. No, no, quick, no, no surprise, they're not quitting on it. Not quick. All the way to the end. No, no. Naoki Thanks. Chono. Just At least ran out of space, ran himself out of space there. And we're going to have the line out here. Probably the last right. set phase of the game. Here. Uruguay with the throw. It ten. is one of the features when we see the top Go teams ten. in the semifinals that we, sorry, the quarterfinals we just experienced. They don't die with the ball. They don't get pushed into touch. Keep it alive and keep asking questions of the defenses. Nice win there once again. Caracedo. Strong in the tackle there. There is the full time. Advantage over. Good tackle release. there, Japanese. Yeah, no, release. no release there. So Japan will have the last word in this game. Advantage number 10. Props, that was Suzuki. Advantage over. That's Chono. And Japanese player there, Mafilio, was in the touch. And that will conclude this game. Japan, they are finished for the day. Uruguay, they will fight on for the Shield uh, Shield Award. Uruguay 26, Japan 10.
think uh, Uruguay will take quite a lot out of this tournament. Yes, they did. Uh, they did well, and they.